Once you guys got another video on how to get rid of bloatware in Windows 11. Made quite a few videos on this. There's a new tool that I wanted to show you here today that I stumbled on. And I think it's worthy of a video. So let's take a look. It's called Windtune. And this tool's going to allow you to tweak and optimize your Windows system. So you can head over to GitHub website and download it if you want to give it a try. And we're going to hit the latest button here. You can see it has already been updated three weeks ago. So we're going to download Windtune.exe to our computer. This means it's probably going to get flagged uh, by Microsoft's uh, browser here because of the nature of the actual application. So let me go ahead and click the three dots, click keep, and we're going to keep anyway, show more, keep anyway, and allow this to download. So this is the actual file here. So it's not an actual batch file or anything like that. It's actually running from an executable file. And you can see the file is unknown, which means it's not uh, registered or anything like that. And that's why it's going to be flagged. So this is the actual application right here. And again, called Wintune version 2.7.3. And this is going to change as and when they update it and add new things in here. I do actually like the layout. I think it's very simplistic and very simple and easy to understand. It's got very good speech bubbles here, which obviously give you a load of information about what it actually does. So you can choose what you want to disable, remove, and tweak yourself by check marking some of this stuff here. You can select all and select everything if you want to quickly go through here. I would advise you to go through one at a time and read each one of them and make sure it is exactly what you want to turn off or disable. Because at the end of the day, this is your PC and everyone's going to have their own personal preferences on how they like to set up their PC. This is why one size doesn't fit all. You can't basically create a program that's just running on the system and just does everything for you because obviously some people may need some of those features what you're disabling. So this is why offering people the option to disable what they want here is going to be more beneficial to you. So just go through here and have a little read of what it's actually doing. Some of this stuff is under the section of system. You can see it's nicely easy categorized on the left, system, privacy, uh, file explorer, st uh, start menu, optional, and then it goes into UWP uh, apps, and then we've got startup manager, host editor, and restart your explorer. So you can do it all inside this little application here. The application looks very well designed, and it looks very simple and easy to use. Now, there's quite a few of these cropping up lately, and I'm going to keep visiting these programs to see how they've advanced in the future, because I do think as they update them, they're going to change. And I'm going to keep uh, going back and taking a look and see if there's any major improvements. So let's move on down to the privacy section. You can see here it's going to allow you to disable all your web search, turn off your search history locate, uh, locally, disable ads on your lock screen, and because this is under the privacy section, I'm pretty sure you're going to be checkmarking all of these. So you could literally click on select all and then just uncheck the ones that you want to keep. Like, say, maybe uh, disable autoplay. Maybe you want to have autoplay and you can just checkmark which you want to have here. So it's up to you which ones you go for. But this is a pretty good option, I would say. So let's go ahead and finish this off and we can move on to File Explorer and take a look there. Now, if you have any other recommendations, leave the recommendations in the comments section down below or join my Discord server and request a video over there. Uh, Talon was requested and I did that video. So let me know if you've got any other ones that I don't know about that I haven't covered yet, which I'd like to uh, cover uh, just to make sure people get a chance to see some of the options that are available out there and try and give them the best option possible. So you can see here under the File Explorer, there's a bunch of other suggestions here, like show extensions, show this PC, uh, disable recent files, increase icon cache, and so on. You can uh, check mark which ones you want that suits you. Okay, so let me check mark all of these. And what we're going to do next is go on to the UWP apps. Now you can see here, there is quite a few of them here. Now, not installed mode or installed mode. These are the ones that are installed on this system. I definitely want to remove Copilot. I've check marked a bunch of these. I did try to remove Edge. It didn't actually work on this application. So you will need to use other methods uh, to remove Edge. I'll show you that in a second. But let me just check mark these and click on the uninstall. I've check marked 34 of these. But you can check mark as many as you like and remove whatever you want from your system. You may need some of these ones 
that I'm removing here. So don't just follow my video. Select the ones that you want to get rid of and leave the ones unchecked, the ones you want to keep on the system because you might want to keep uh, Microsoft Photos. You might want to keep Microsoft Store and so on. So just go through the motions and check mark the ones that you want to uninstall. So I've got these all check marked right here. And what I'm going to do is remove some of these. Like, for instance, the Xbox app there, I've left those check marked because I want to remove it for this particular build. But you'll be able to see what it's done. So it's gone ahead and removed all of that stuff. So what we can do now is move on down to the next section. And you can see already it's quite lightened the load there. So we're going to go to Startup Manager. I want to remove this Microsoft Edge from here. You can see it's enabled. And I'm going to remove Edge from this system. So before you remove any sort of browser, especially Edge, make sure you have an alternative browser installed like Google Chrome, Brave, or whatever it is you're using on that system. Because once you've removed Edge, there won't be any other browser on here. You can already see we can inject any sort of host files entries right here. For instance, you can see the one up the top right. It says Windows Spy Blocker. You can add those into the actual uh, host file if you want to and there's other ones on there as well which you can add in and you can get them off the internet as well and just add them in once you're done you can click on restart explorer or even restart the pc and uh, all of the changes should be made on your system so let's take a quick look and see what we have here i'm going to restart the pc and we'll come back to the desktop once i've restarted the system now, I'm not sure if this software is open source where you can actually see the code or anything like that. I need to check that. But again, if it's not open source or you can't check the code, I won't be leaving a link for it in the video description simply because of the nature of that executable file. It's going to get flagged and people are going to start shouting in the comments, it's a virus when it's probably just, you know, a false positive. But you can do your own research on that and see if it is as well. But there is the actual site for the removal of Edge. This will remove Edge and it will also remove Edge and the um, Edge web view as well if you wanted to. I'm just going to remove Edge on this one and basically that will be it. It will be nice and clean and fully debloated. And again, is it the best application out there? I think it just needs a little bit more fettling to get it really where it needs to be to make it one of the best out there. I think there's still some other better options out there. Windhance is another one that is growing fast and getting constant updates. And I will be doing an updated video on that particular application because I do think he's worked quite hard on it to make it where it is right now, which I do believe it's probably one of the best options out there for debloating Windows. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below what you want to see me do next. And if you want to see any other sort of debloating tools or my opinion on some of these debloating tools, or whatever it is you want to hear about it, then let me know in the comments section down below. And I'll do my best to make those videos for you. I myself don't use applications like this. I will use Group Policy Editor to do all my tweaking on my system. Or I use my own personal batch file, which I've got created, which takes seconds to run and it's all done. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.